Installation of the Mega Blade is just as easy as installation for the standard blade with one exception. Removal of this upper pulley here for added clearance. Because there's no flexibility in the Mega Blade, you'll need that extra space. Wrap your belt around the blade 360 degrees, pinch it closed, and drop it inside of the raceway. Hold it tightly and reinsert the pulley. Flip your belt around, wrap it around the upper pulley here, around the lower pulley, up and over the pulley here, down and around the drive gear, up and over this pulley here, lift up on the spring tension pulley and slide the belt under it, slide the inside groove grommet forward until it makes light pressure on the blade and snug down the screw. When installing a Mega Blade into the saw, you won't be able to follow our golden rule of rotating the entire assembly by hand at first, but I'll show you a trick. Make sure your saw is filled with water. Reinstall your work surface so that you don't get wet. Reinstall the door. Hold the door shut with your hand and bump the switch a couple of times. Now when you remove the door, you'll be able to rotate the entire assembly freely and make sure all parts are moving. All right. Now that we've installed the Mega Blade, let's try cutting some hard materials. Let's start with this marble. Wait a second! You'll notice the cutting technique with the Mega Blade differs from the cutting technique with the Stanner Blade. Cutting on the Mega Blade is directional, whereas the cutting with the Stanner Blade is in any direction. There's good reason for this. Instead of having a round shape like we see here in the cross section of the Stanner Blade, the Mega Blade has a teardrop shape like we see in this cross section. And now back to the cutting. The majority of the cutting with the Mega Blade is done with the front and back. You can use the blade sideways, but because it's so much thicker from the side than it is from the front, it cuts much slower. It's actually easier to turn the material around the blade to change direction. The advantage to the Mega Blade is the additional strength the teardrop shape provides, which makes it ideal for dense materials. The actual cutting time for this 3 8 inch or 1 centimeter marble was just over 10 minutes. Now that's a swell gecko. And now, let's try some granite. Holy sh**, granite takes a long time. Let's speed up the film.
the actual cutting time. <clears throat> the actual cutting time for this three-quarter inch or 20 millimeter granite was just over 18 minutes. Dig that crazy mermaid. Now let's try cutting human flesh. Hey, you want to make $20? Actually, accidental contact with the blade will not cut skin. But it will quickly cut fingernails and calluses. 